we are now selecting the Bornito convoy. We hit start and we load in. Now this quick tutorial is going to show you how to use the torpedo data computer. First we raise the periscope and notice in the upper right corner of the screen we have a gray tab. In the lower left corner of the screen we have a gray tab. These are the control panels. So I'm going to click on those and open those up in just a moment. First we lock onto the freighter. You hit L with your periscope to lock, open the control panels and hit the targeting range, drag the uh, statimeter image down and then send it with the red arrow. Then immediately uh, start going to the uh, control panel for torpedo settings and while you wait for about one minute to set your next range, you set all the torpedoes to high speed. After setting them all to high speed, you cycle through again and set them all to uh, contact influence. Notice that this video is actually being recorded in normal speed, and this is how fast I actually can click the controls. In se three separate clicks, we're actually going to target the uh, ship. So we drag the statimeter a second time, and then we go to the speed indicator and hit the red arrow to send both of those pieces of data. And now on the left-hand control panel, we're going to set the angle on the bow. This is the most confusing part. The top of the screen says that the course of the enemy ship is 287, so we're turning the right-hand control dial to match 287 on the left-hand control dial. So in the upper left corner, the zero at the bow of the ship is now pointing at the outer ring of numbers, 287. I just fired the first torpedo. Uh, we'll set a spread of torpedoes by slightly uh, increasing the degree of the torpedo to the uh, right or left. There's one degree right. Fire the second Water torpedo. We now have a spread of two torpedoes. The second degree to the right is the third Water torpedo. Two, now we're going to switch to the attack map. On the attack map we can zoom in and monitor the torpedo's positions. Torpedo we uh, also selected the red button on the lower left corner of the screen to torpedo track the, the target. That's called the position keeper. So that red button is now active. You can see that. Here are the three torpedoes going outbound. The green line is indicating the bearing to the ship and the gray line is indicating the path of the third most torpedo, the last spread uh, setting that I chose which was two degrees to the left. The white X is the path of the ship. We just pause the game for a moment and switch back to periscope mode. The torpedoes have advanced using time compression and now they're just about to hit. In this first spread of three torpedoes, we're going to get one hit on the stern of the ship. So apparently he's moving to my left and I didn't spread the torpedoes to the left enough or I didn't use correct uh, amount of time between my two range indications. So we're going to shoot three more torpedoes. Here we just drag the statimeter one more time and we start setting the course. There's the first torpedo impact. The course at the top of the screen now says 179 and that's one degree from 180 which is south. So we turn the ship dial in the upper right corner to match the S on the screen control panel on the left. That is the most confusing part. You have to watch those two dials to match them up. If you can do that, then you just do your little spread, put two degrees difference between each torpedo and I'm firing three more torpedoes. Two are in the water. Um, sorry, we got three in the water now. Zooming in on the attack map, these three torpedoes will go out and two more, in this instance, two of them will hit. Notice that the white X is showing the path of the ship more correctly and he's heading actually to the south on the um, on the attack map. There's your two impacts and we skipped a moment in the video and you can now see him burning. He will roll over in time compression and sink. And that concludes the video in less than four minutes we targeted an enemy ship twice.